Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here. Well, it's doomsday right around the corner uh, because scientists are in a heated panic and they have set their doomsday clock to two minutes before midnight. Now, if you're not familiar with what the doomsday clock is, uh, basically this organization, and let me just make sure I quote it right, but it's called the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists. These are a group of scientists. It was founded in 1945 who have put together this setting of a clock saying, this is how close we are to some kind of catastrophic event or some kind of nuclear war. Now, the reason that they set this clock at certain values Evaluations in certain time is supposed to be for these three reasons nuclear risk climate change which we know is a fraud uh, emerging technologies and then just the nuclear landscape altogether that is why these groups of scientists change the settings over the years now that said here we are bang 2018 and we're two minutes to midnight well what the heck cause them to set this clock to two minutes to midnight. And that's what I want to show you in this report because your jaw is going to hit the floor when I tell you the reason why. And let me just give you a little hint here. Donald Trump. Yeah, that's not, 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 I mean, nuclear war and, and all that is part of it. But one of the main reasons they set it to two minutes before midnight is because of President Trump and his nationalist views. The fact that he is uh, anti new world order and the fact that he's a climate denier were two of the main reasons to set that bad boy right to two minutes to midnight. Now, that said, the last time that this has been set to two minutes to midnight was in 1953. I'll throw that up on the screen and you can access this on their website. But the two minute marker has only been set one other time in history. Since its development in 1945, we have it set once in 1953. The reason behind that uh, is because the U.S. pursued the hydrogen bomb at that time. The U.S. also tested its first thermonuclear uh, device. And nine months later, the Soviets also taste, uh, tested an H-bomb of their own. Uh, so there you have it. Now, I'm going to also show you some of the other settings that they've had throughout history. 2007, 5 minutes. 2002, 7 minutes. 91, 17, 98, 9 minutes. 1990, we have a 10 minute marker. 1995, 14 minutes. 1988, 6 minutes. 1984, 3 minutes. 1974, 9 minutes. 1981, 4 minutes. 72, we have 12 minutes. 1987 minutes. And then you could see 69 for 10 minutes, 68 for 7 minutes. 53, two minutes, that's the only other time in history there. And 1963, 12 minutes, 1949, three minutes, and then the last two, 1960 and 1947, uh, were both seven minutes there. Now, if you want to get into some of the details on why those minute markers are there, you can pause the screen or you can click in the uh, description box below and it will bring all that up. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of this. Why? the two minute marker scientists, why the heated panic and why put everybody in this state of ooh uh, uh, over this doomsday clock? Well, uh, the answer is found on their website. This is the uh, atomic or the bulletin of the atomic scientist. Uh, and in this report, they list their reasons why. And I'm just going to read it to you verbatim. But it says, a 2017 world leaders failed to respond effectively to the looming threats of nuclear war and climate change, making the world security situation more dangerous than it was a year ago and as dangerous as it has been since World War II. The greatest risk last year arose in the nuclear realm. North Korea's nuclear weapons program made remarkable progress in 2017, increasing the risk of North Korea itself and other countries in the region and the U.S. Uh, hyperbolic rhetoric and provocative actions by both sides have increased the possibility of nuclear war by accident or miscalculation. Now, uh, let me just pause. Um, obviously, nuclear war is a reason for part of this, but that's not all. So bear with me because this is one of the reasons, but I've got more. Okay, so moving on, but the dangers brewing but on the North Korea or the Korean Peninsula were not the only nuclear risk evident in 2017. It also goes on to list the United States and Russia, how they remain at odds, continuing military exercise along the borders of NATO, things I've talked about on, on my channel, undermining the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, the INF, uh, upgrading their nuclear arsenals, and eschewing arms control negotiation it also lists the Asian Pacific region's tensions over the South China Sea. Uh, and skipping down in South Asia, you have Pakistan and India continue to build large arsenals of nuclear weapons in the Middle East. Of course, it's always kind of on there. Uncertainty about continued U.S. support for the landmark Iranian nuclear deal adds a bleak overall picture. 
Oh, so there, those are some of the reasons that they list. But if you scroll down a little further in their report, this is where your jaw is going to hit the drop. The jaw is going to drop to the floor because they go on to list Donald Trump, nationalism, uh, and they while they don't say nationalism, I'll read it to you verbatim so you don't have to take my word for it. But they say climate deniers is a reason. Uh, the fact that. Uh, Donald Trump is anti New World Order is also another reason, which just makes me love that I am a nationalist a hundred times more and a populist. You know, we all know that there's certain people rolling from behind the scenes. That's evident. Uh, now, here on the screen, I'm going to throw up a breakdown, but here's what they have to say. But now, this is another reason why uh, they have moved it to two minutes. But there has also been a breakdown in the international order. Let me pause. International order is new world order. That's the new name they've given it. So, but there has also been a breakdown in the international order that has been dangerously exacerbated by recent U.S. actions. In 2017, the U.S. backed away from its longstanding leadership role in the world, reducing its commitment to seek common ground and undermining the overall effort towards solving pressing global governance challenges. Key word, global governance challenge. So they're referencing Donald Trump, 2017, anti-globalism. Let's go on. Neither allies nor adversaries has been able to reliably predict U.S. actions or understand when U.S. pronouncements are real and when they are mere rhetoric. International diplomacy has been reduced to name calling, giving it a surreal sense of unreality that makes the world uh secure situations ever more threatening. It goes on, it says, because of the extraordinary danger of the current movement, the Trump movement is what they're referencing. While they don't say it, they just say those against the new world order or the international order or the global governance order. Okay, the scientists and security board, those who move the clock, uh, move it to a minute hand of the, the, the minute hand of the doomsday clock, 30 seconds closer to catastrophe. It is now at two minutes to midnight, the closest the clock has ever been to doomsday since 1953. Reason being Donald Trump, reason being USA, reason being those who are anti New World Order. Evident right there. So it's a complete brainwashing tactic and they want you on the global scheme of things and they evidently want their new world order. Now here's another reason that they give and I brought up both of these, the Paris Agreement, the Climate Court Agreement, it's an Agenda 21 baby uh, and I've read all of Agenda 21 but basically this, parent, uh, uh, this Paris Agreement is crap. It, 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 it's not good. We shouldn't have it on our stage and it pushes nothing but Agenda 21 policies. I don't want to get into that. But here, uh, I know absolutely I take the right stand because now we have uh, the scientists saying we need to pay attention and uh, we need to also accept Agenda 21. That's basically what they're saying. So here's what it says. An insufficient response to climate change is also a reason for the two minutes to midnight. Last year, the U.S. government pursued unwise. I don't think it's unwise and ineffectual policies on climate change. Following through on a promise to derail past U.S. climate policies, the Trump administration, which includes a valid climate denialist in top positions of the EPA, I say amen, a freaking men, the Interior Department and other key agencies has announced its plan to withdraw from the Paris Agreement, amen, and in a rush to dismantle national or rational climate and energy policies. The administration has ignored scientific fact and well founded economic analysis. Amen, amen, amen. Well, they call bad, I say good. What they say is not so good, I say amen to, because we needed to get out of that a long time ago. So thank you, President Trump. And now you have a group of scientists who aren't too happy with you, but so the heck what? I am very happy with what's going on. But wait, it gets more and, um, I know I'm reading a lot of this off their site, but I want you to see versus me just telling you, I think that's important. Another reason that the, that they're putting the clock two minutes to midnight and putting everybody in a panic um, is because of journalists. Yeah, the freedom that we have on the internet, very bad. And because we have freedom to talk about like the things that I'm talking about on the internet, well, that's a reason that we're all about to hit catastrophe. Take a look. Uh, here's what it says. The Science and Security Board is deeply concerned about the loss of public trust in political institutes, in the media. Well, nobody trusts the media, the mainstream media, because they're, they're just crap. In science and in facts themselves, a loss 
that the abuse of information technology has fostered attempts to intervene in election through sophisticated hacking operations and the spread of disinformation have threatened democracy. Oh which relies on the information electorate to reach responsible decisions on public policy, including policy relating to nuclear weapons, climate change, and other global threats. Pause. In other words, if you're a climate denier, they want you on the bad boy list. So that would mean me. Meanwhile, corporate leaders in the information domain, including established media outlets, and internet companies such as Facebook and Google have been slow to adopt protocols to prevent the misuse of services and protect citizens from manipulation on the internet. The international community, the new world order, that's just another term, the new world order should establish new me measures that discourage and penalize all cross-border subversions of democracy. So let's put the whole world in a panic, uh, not necessarily because of just the nuclear war thing. Oh no, but because Donald Trump is president, he's anti new world order because he's a climate denier and people in America are climate deniers because we have alternative media on there sharing real truth. That is the reason that is why I won't be panicking with their two minutes of midnight warning because it's crap. It's junk. And they're really trying to put a bad name under Donald Trump and they're using any and all means to do that. This is again, why I'm on the Trump train. If you want to call it that I haven't been on any president's train. Uh, but this one, I actually believe is doing some things that we need to have done in this country. Now, not only that, uh, but it goes on to further detail. How can we fix this problem? I'm not going to read it to you. You can see below, but the reasons and, and things that they say is, well, the people of America need to rise up and tell Donald Trump to stand with the climate change and uh, agreement that you need to rise up and make a stance against president Trump. President Trump needs to stop calling Kim Jong Un names. That was another uh, thing there. And you know, I just, some of the reasons that they give are just inappropriate, but uh, to have the citizens rise up against someone that we absolutely are backing is just insane. All that in a nutshell, wanted to bring you the real deal of what the two minute to midnight was really about and show you the stats on that. And I'd love to get your comments and concerns with that. Please don't forget uh, to help support my channel by checking out getthetea.com. He has the most amazing de detox products and I'm not, uh, I'm not saying that uh, just because I'm saying that because I know it works. It's changed my daughter's life. It's changed my life and it's really helped clean things out. It's kid friendly, organic, GMO free. Uh, but most of his products on his website, if not all, I believe are like that, but he's got vitamin C and all kinds of supplements. So check that out. Also, don't forget to go to hear the watchman conference. It's here, the watchman.com. I'll leave a link below. I'm going to be emceeing that. So we'll have a lot of fun. And I'd like to meet some of you guys out in Dallas, Texas, uh, March 23rd, 24th and 25th. So hopefully I can see you guys then in the meantime, thanks again for tuning in and subscribe. I'm Lisa Haven signing out.